If you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there. Get Basa to the pack. It is pack here. So, more NBA 2K22 news. More than anything, it's a bunch of screenshots that I'm going to show you in today's video, and I'll compare them to the year before to see if they got better, they got worse, or if they changed at all. And that's what I'm going to be covering. Before the video starts, please be an OG, join the pack, and subscribe. That helps the channel out, as you already know. And like the video. Seriously, it helps out the channel so much, and it helps the videos grow. You, like, it, it's so essential, so please. Okay? So, we're going to start off with the first one, and that is DeMarvelous the Frozen. Former Spurt, it breaks my heart to see him on the Bulls. Uh, this is the first time we're seeing 2K players with screenshots on a new team. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know how I feel about seeing him in a Bulls jersey. I'm happy for him because that Bulls team is genuinely going to be a good team. Like, I'm happy for him. He's going to be in a good place, especially in the East. But I wish he had found more success in the Spurs. That's all I, I guess I specifically cared for. But let's break down this face scan and let's compare it to the year before. So at first glance, I kind of thought this looks almost identical. But I'll notice a little difference here and there. First off, I think the most obvious one is the neck. They already had the veins last year, but this year it's like way more defined and extra, which if you, if you yell, you're like, ah, I'm not gonna yell right now, but you're, you know, your veins come out, right? So that's just, it's pretty normal. I, I like that. I think the hair is exactly the same. I think the face scan is almost exactly the same. I see a little more detail on the cheeks with like the, the acne he has, and the nose seems to be a little more different. But like in terms of facial hair, in terms of hair, and face scan, it all seems to be almost exactly the same this year, right? The biggest thing, as I said, the last couple screenshots is the lighting. You can tell the lighting is a lot more realistic. In 2K21, everything was just so washed away. In 2K22, it's a lot more like how real life is. Not everything is, is bland and, and faded away, right? So I like that a lot. And you can tell that really, really hard in this specific comparison. Right, the next screenshot is Lonzo Ball. I feel the same way with Lonzo as I do with DeMar. Even though I think the Pelicans were in a pretty good situation in the first place, I am happy that the Pelicans, oh sorry, Lonzo Ball, I'm happy that he is going to a team that I think he's going to be able to contribute a lot more to, and I think they have a lot better chance to succeed because they're going to be in the East, right? So, I'm happy for him. He's only, I mean, he's literally been getting better every year. I know we all shit on Lonzo Ball, but I think we forget that some players aren't an amazing player year one. A lot of times when you draft those guys in the first, second, third, or fourth pick, they're project players, and they're expected to be good later on. Like Brandon Ingram, for example, took him a couple years, right? Julius Randle took him a couple years. And here we are with Lonzo Ball every year getting better, and I think this is going to be his big year. Face scan wise, this is actually the first one I think they've actually updated seriously. Maybe not the face itself, but they gave him a longer and like more detailed beard. The ears seem to be updated. The nose seems to change a little bit. The eye color isn't as light anymore. Overall, and I guess like the neck is like a little skinnier. And I, even the body type, like on 2K21, like the, they're called the traps, right? They're a little higher on 2K21, 2K22, they're lower, right? Which is probably how Lonzo is. On top of that, the little diamond Nike logo, which I love to see, so so clean. Overall, not major changes, but little changes to get make sure to make sure they get Lonzo right. And you know what? That's that's good for 2K because that's what they should be doing, and they got it right. Right now, the last player is Cardiac Kemba Walker. Okay, so Kemba Walker, I have a couple opinions about him. Right, uh, being you know, I am a Spurs fan, but I'm also a Knicks fan. Right, as you already know. And seeing him on the Knicks, I wasn't too sure because let's be real, he struggled pretty hard last year. Even if you look at his stats, it's not doesn't show the full story because in the playoffs he did really bad. And the Knicks are in a good place. We have Emmanuel Quickly, who I kind of want to start, right? And he's playing really good in the summer league too. Kim Walker coming in kind of steps on some toes here. Especially when we already have, I mean, Julius Randle already puts up almost 30. And then I'm hoping RJ Barrett's going to have a big step this year. Adding another like, player that wants to score 20 is going to be kind of annoying. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, in terms of the jersey, obviously the exact same except for the diamond logo now. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the face scans that looks almost exactly the same. I actually am pretty confident they might have not even changed it. Maybe a little bit. I do see a little change here and there. But overall, it seems to be almost exactly the same. The biggest thing, obviously, is the lighting. You can tell the lighting is a lot more accurate now. And that's it when it comes to cardiac Kemba. At the end of the day, 
absolutely I'm gonna be using them, so I don't really care. It's, it's gonna be fun. Okay, I just realized, quick update. Um, my mic is messed up, but hey, I mean, I still have the mic on the camera, so it's not gonna sound great, so letting you know, sorry guys, but it's fine. Okay, so, the next thing we have is 2K Lab. And they're tweeting at Baluba or Mike Wing, and they're like, can we get this free throw animation in 2K22? Bro, I always, I always try to defend the old players and like how good they were, and I'm like, nah, nah, you would get destroyed nowadays. But you know what, dude? If I were to play these dudes, sometimes I think I could get a couple buckets here or there. I mean, they would see a crossover to a jump shot, and they would literally, like, their minds would just melt in that moment. They wouldn't, they couldn't believe it. They wouldn't believe it. Actually, let me just move this mic now. There's no reason to have it. Um, they wouldn't believe it, right? Because, like, they, the, 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 look at this, bro. What is this for? Not only, what's even crazier is he's using the left leg to shoot the right arm in in place, and he kind of hops to, like, I needed it in 2K because it'd be funny, and it'd be a great jump shot video, but... What in the world were these dudes doing at the time? But whatever, man. Now, this next tweet is my tweet. Because I was saying, bro, how is there no 2K22 gameplay, and yet we're less than a month away? And you know what? I stand by that feeling. How? How? Okay, guys, listen. We are almost three weeks away. That's how close we are. Well, we're four weeks away. And we have nothing. Nothing. How? How do we have nothing? I cannot believe it sometimes. 2K is a very interesting company. We have to be getting something this week, hopefully. This coming week, is, we should be getting everything. Everything, no more screenshots, gameplay. That's what we should be getting, and I'll be covering that soon, but like, it's insane that we have nothing so far. Somebody replied, Cole Brewer says, it's one of two things, okay? Either it's the same as last 2K, and they don't want to show it, or it's completely different, and they're still working on it. And I'm a little worried if a game is gonna release in three weeks, people are still working on it really hard. I mean, I mean, it's good for them to constantly be working on it, wanting to make things as good as possible. But you'd think this would have been already almost done by now. But whatever, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a good sign. Maybe he's right. Right? Now, final thing is NBA memes tweeted this. And I kind of agreed with it. It was like, I'm not copying 2K22. It's the exact same as last year. And then us in September are going to be playing our butts off. You know my stance? I'm getting this game no matter what. I play no matter what. I have fun. I even played Next Gen today. Well, it was yesterday, so I'm not going to lie, right? And I have fun. Like it's it's fun. There's it's it has moments, but it's the it's twenty percent good, and then the eighty percent that are bad makes you want to rip your hair out because there's times where like especially the defense this year is the worst. It, it's playing good defense and still losing is just so painful. But that's my feelings about this news. What do you think about these screenshots? Leave it in the comments below. Sorry about the audio again. If you like the channel, please give it a sub. I'll see you guys next time. If you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there.